Okay, so I showed some of you before that I made an analog um, arcade stick out of a um, Adafruit analog stick and combined with a knockoff Sanwa um, JLF arcade stick. And so before I go into how to make that, I just want to do a teardown of this existing one that I've already made. Um, as a quick way to kind of give you guys an idea of what I did. Um, so just taking this off, I used a removable shaft. This is one of the knockoff um, removable shaft setups from like the link. Uh, it's just a knockoff one. And um, what I did was I kind of grinded in a uh, groove there, you can see. Um, and that allowed me to put a little O-ring on there and that keeps the uh, dust washer on there when I want it to. Um, but going into the actual stick, it's set up just like the Sanwa JLF, um, where you have your uh, pivot and your shaft, and, you know, these four screws. So if we just take these out with a Phillips head screwdriver, that one comes off. So then you've got your uh, cheap knockoff plate and it's pretty easy to tell because it's got this like sharp edge here that the Sanwa ones don't have. And then this is not circular as well. Um, and so that brings you to the body. And so this is not super clean. And so when I remake the other one, I'm gonna try and clean this up. But you can see that this bottom part here is held in with some screws and nuts. Um, these are just like a vinyl um, screws or some sort of plastic and I kind of try to make space for them, which I need to improve that process of doing that because this is obviously not very clean. Um, but it's all held together in a very similar manner to the Sanwa JLF, as you can see this uh, bottom plate and those screws that uh, come in it are still intact. So to get further into it, we have to go into the actual um, Adafruit part itself or the Adafruit stick itself. And so again, these are just Phillips head screwdrivers, quite a bit smaller. And these are just the ones that come in the stick itself. And your pots should pop off with it, right? And so you can see when we've gotten in here, again, it's not super pretty. Um, but what I did was I, to in order for this shaft to fit between these um, gates, I had to widen these up uh, pretty substantially um, using some uh, files. Uh, I also used a Dremel as well to kind of speed up the process. Um, and then added some lube later to try and smooth things out. And it looks like the stick itself as it's been used has grinded it down a little bit as well because um, it is substantially smoother than when I first originally um, put it together, but you see these go to the pots and they rotate and they tell you your X, Y. Um, and so going down to the stick, so what I did was here's the original um, notch where this uh, clip was. And so what I did was I basically cut a new notch for that clip by sticking this into a drill and then having a saw Dremel tip. And so this was in the drill side and it basically spun this thing like a lathe. And then I took the um, Dremel uh, cutter tip or a uh, blade part and I just stuck it right on that spot and waited until it was a depth where this uh, clip could stay. And so let's pop that clip off. It's pretty easy to do with a little flathead. And hopefully this doesn't go flying across the room. Okay. So that's C clips off. And you can see then the next spot that I modified was, uh, this is the normal uh, piece that fits in the pivot. Let me see if I have one that um, is in normal like condition. Okay, so here's one from an auto V2 mod, um, but it's still gonna be the same idea. Um, so basically I cut with that same Dremel cutting tip. Um, I basically uh, 
clamp that down and then cut right here to make it much shorter. And as you can see, if you don't do it completely straight, this starts to get a lot more wide around this part or the further in you get. So just be careful when you're doing this and you can probably get a better looking one than this. Um, but this is just the general idea. So you cut right here. And then that becomes the new um, spot that will interact with your C-clip here. Um, and so, yeah, just your normal spring. This one is a higher weight because it minimized the snapback. Your normal, I don't even know what these things are called. Um, well, the spring sits on here, but one of these. And then looking at the stick, I've got a lubed, lubed um, pivot, but metal pivot, but you can see that what I did was I've tried a couple different times, right? So this one is much better. This one was just using the Dremel itself and just kind of um, and just cutting in multiple different spots. Whereas this one was me putting this front part into a drill and turning it like a lathe and then placing the Dremel bit right there to cut it. Um, and that worked obviously much, much better. Um, not as clean as that one, as you can see, it's on quite a bit of a slant. So if you are better at this than I was trying it the first time, then uh, you should be able to get something more similar to this. Um, but to basically get this to fit, I had to stretch this C-clip out a little bit so that it fits on this spot. Um, additionally, the metal piece right here, I glued this down because it can pop off and it was causing it to like catch um, weird. So I just used some super glue to glue that down. Um, but you can see then the next part of this is that this is the JLF um, base and I basically cut the legs off of it. So here's one that uh, is unmodified. Let's take out the restrictor gate. There we go. And you see these legs. So this part is the part that I, um, so this one's pretty well stuck. Oh, there you go. See, it's usually sticks on there from some of the lube from the factory. But, um, what I did was I glued it down. Um, but basically what I did here was I took that same Dremel blade and I cut these legs off so that this thing laid flat. And so I'm going to open that up real quick, just to show you. Um, these are those same sort of, uh, plastic screws that I use to hook everything in here. And then there's a, um, yeah, the, pl the plastic nut fell off the back. Um, and I'm gonna speed this up, but I'm gonna unscrew all the rest of these. Okay. So you can see I got this pretty flat and it took me a few tries to get the holes in the proper placement to really align this well. Um, what I've seen some other people do is they turn the actual Adafruit um, part so that it fits more in line with these holes, which are already there. And that works, but I wanted mine to all be in line with the actual stick itself. And so it took me a few tries, but what I ultimately ended up doing was I ended up taking this, getting it as straight as possible, drilling the first one, putting a screw in it, pivoting it slightly to wherever was like straight or uh, parallel with this right here. And then I would drill the next one until I got it. And I, I made the drill uh, holes a little bit wider. So there's a little bit of wiggle room that I could then tighten them down with the nuts. Um, so that it was in the proper placement, so it was centered. And the other thing that I modified was on the Adafruit um, joystick itself. And normally what's here is a big um, pivot spot. And I basically cut out the center of this um, and then sanded it down uh, not so cleanly. But you can see um, that is what I did uh, to get everything so that it was basically combining an Adafruit stick. So one of these, 
with a JLF parts so that you could use the detachable joystick as well as get something that uh, doesn't have a ton of travel distance compared to um, something like an SJ at JX uh, stick like this that has a ton of travel distance. All right, um, hopefully this was helpful and hopefully at some point in the future I can actually throw together a, a more complete build video. Okay, one, one part I forgot to film um, when I had that set up in the hand cam was that I basically uh, soldered on some of these, uh, I don't know, quick, quick disconnects to a nunchuck board. As you can see, my soldering is not fantastic, um, but uh, it does the job. And this allows me to basically hook up some wires so that it goes from the um, potentiometers and then you can wire directly from wire to here. And then you can just plug it in and out to minimize wear and tear whenever you open up your stick.